Okay, this way. What? It's not working. Guys, stay with me here. I am... I don't know photography. I'm trying. Okay, I think this is the brightest I can get uh, right now. Um, hi, you guys. I am back. I apologize for disappearing for two months. As you guys already know, I'm quite rubbish at keeping consistency on YouTube. But if you are on my Instagram, um, I'm sure you kind of know what's been happening. If not, it's okay, I'll update you since I consider you are my internet family. The kind of thing we say these days in 2019. Internet family, interesting. So, uh, long story short, because I do need to run out to the bank before they close today to do something for my family which is I'm not complaining except it's I think it's minus 10 outside um, with the wind chill I don't even know but yeah making money is not easy I'm sure we all know that anywho you guys remember the tenant issue that I have since the beginning of 2018 and basically my entire 2018 just been rubbish because of this incident mainly because I am not experienced in dealing with situation like those um, I really don't know how to react to someone demand for three months free rent when you have to pay the mortgage and management fee is rising each quarter it was really really stressful and it was particularly just hang on one second so where was i um Basically, I just did not have the experience and strength to deal with situation like that before because I've never dealt with it. Like, I got bullied at school when I was younger, but it, it was okay somehow because it's attacking me. Like, it's me. But when you work for your parents, basically your parents are your boss, like, I don't know about other people, but I am particularly... <sighs> What's the right word to use? I do not want to disappoint my parents, basically, because I do consider myself really lucky that I can just have a... <sighs> still have a steady income after music school um, which a lot of my friends, I mean a lot of my friends are doing they're doing okay, some of them they're doing extremely well I think one of them, two of them, they got Grammy nomination which is which I am extremely happy for them like this is just crazy like you would never think about your friends gonna get like Grammy before music school like that is just um, it's just so amazing to know that you actually know a real human being that achieves such achievement at this point because it takes like it takes time of course it takes time like anything that's worth a while or have a certain quality will take time so I'm not going to be too dreamy about this fact um, so yeah, like I'm never really too... I just don't think about awards, period. I think the most important thing for me and for a lot of musician or just creator 
I don't know for sure, but I believe they really want to make the art in their heart using their best ability. At least I hope they are. Um, yeah, so... Right, so I was saying, working for my parents, I really don't want to disappoint them. And I already feel like I disappointed them because I did not handle the tenant myself. As you know, I was in London. I trusted my real estate agent. He will take care of it because after all, that's what they do, right? But no, if it's not... I don't want to say it's whose fault, whose fault, because everything ultimately it's my fault because it's my business now and well it's my parents business i work for them um if it's my responsibility there's no excuse there's just no excuse why why wasn't i in toronto dealing with them face to face why did i trust other people than myself just basically i was disappointed in my selection of people that I should trust and should not be trusting. I think I made a mistake on that. I was being too naive. While you live, you learn. So I guess in a sense, it's okay. It's been a year and the, the hearing is, it's, it's passed. Tenant's still there and Basically, we decided to sell the place because it's just not worth it. They're not going to change who they are. They will forever demand for wild things. And speaking of them, they just broke the dishwasher. Like, who on earth keep on breaking things? It was a brand new condo as well. Like, I guess when it's not your property, you don't care. But then I rent places to live. When I live in other cities and countries, I always take ultra care to other people's property because I understand I don't own the place. It's, it's the trust that I value so much that how can you do that to other people's house? Unless that Landlord is horrible, give you a, a really unpleasant environment to live in. That's totally another story, which is not the case. So I am, I am quite disappointed in, in human last year. It sounds so childish, like, Oh, you just end encounter with some difficult tenants and you're disappointed in humankind and I am well aware of what it sounds like it's just reality speaking I was hurt quite deeply to the point that I couldn't work it was so silly there should not be anything in your journey to achieve what you want to stop you like and i know that by theory <sighs> just need to work on my strength because i i like to be a stronger person so that i can help other people because you know ultimately i, I do want to make art that can inspire people to have more courage and if i can't do it who am i to say anything so so the, the silver lining of, of it all is that I do feel I have a thicker skin now because oh my gosh um, the things that the tenant call me and my agent in the emails are just really not necessary the level of personal attack is just like really like we all went to school we're educated people 
we can communicate and have points across without talking like that. And I think it's funny that when you go through stuff, you obviously, you go through that emotion while you're going through that. And then when the whole thing is finished, you look back and you laugh, realizing, oh, it's actually okay. Why did I take it so hard at the time? It's always like that, isn't it? <laughs> um, I do have good news though. So remember I hired the paralegal and he, I called him basically two months ago when I first got back to Toronto and just discussed the case, like what is going on. And I'll never forget in during the phone call oh, when you to told me the price for the hearing, for applying for eviction because he did not pay the rent on time and no insurance and yada yada yada, which are all the legal proof that I have. I paid the paralegal right away, e-transfer right away. But when it comes to him filing the necessary paper to the landlord and tenant board, Ontario, um, it takes almost eight months. I mean, I get the Canadians are slow, but eight months. Like, <sighs> I might offend some people, because they'll be like, that's rude to call Canadians as slow. I'm not saying all Canadians, I'm just saying relatively, well, relatively, relatively, I can't speak that word. Anyways, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Compared to the States, compared to Hong Kong, especially like Asia, they just get things done quick. And even UK, it's still faster. And little do I know, Canada is known to be slow. So um, yeah, I guess it's the culture, which I promise you, I will never get used to it. I can only adjust my attitude towards it. I do not fancy living a life that is in slow motion, unless I'm in a beautiful countryside, I don't know, riding horses. Right, so I was really frustrated and Obviously he knows, and he even said that, oh, maybe I can refund some of the money to you. I don't need him to refund the money, I need him to get the job done. So basically, oh, this turned out to be not a short story and we are losing light. We are losing light. The bank's gonna close. Okay, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna speed it through. Basically, I got all the money back from the hearing, from hiring the paralegal. I got all the money back, which I'm really proud of myself. At least, at least I felt like I did not let the system take advantage of me because I don't understand the system because we doesn't matter what kind of society you live in, we have a certain system, like we live in a Western society, so everything is un by law. And by law means you have to play by the book or else you're not obeying the law, which I really have no problem with. And I actually absolutely adore this way of living um, because I do believe <clears throat> the law would protect people but after, after this incident, it's not. 
like it saddened me to even have to say that to you. It it's just not. The law favors whoever that knows how to play the law. Like it's just, it's just so dark. Like I'm not ready for it yet, but I need to be ready. So, so yeah. Like that's it, guys. I'm really glad that I can tell you this good news because I know、um, some of you've been asking me. On Instagram, which is super cute, it's like I swear, because I don't take you for granted, because a lot of you I've never met in real life, and you actually care about what's been happening in my life is just. I think it's a blessing, so I want to share this piece of little good news with you, and hopefully I can send a little bit of the good energy to wherever you are in the world. So I hope I can do that, and yes, we will talk about the Ableton book review. It's still happening. Don't worry, guys. I know it. I know I'm just really, really, really rubbish at it, and I do apologize.、Um, so now everything's been a bit more subtle, and I do feel that I have a better time management when it comes to separating. Working for my parents and working for the music side, I am planning to get back to the book review.、Um, oh, sorry, I'm just holding an extension cord in case you're wondering what is she holding. So I'm planning to get back to the book review early next week, and I plan to do that every、um, once every week, at least one video per week, instead of. You guys remember how I did it before? I just pumping it out like every single day, and I thought I could do it. Clearly, I failed. It's okay. You do things, you fail, you learn, and then you do it again. And welcome to life. And this should be fun. <sighs> so much to learn. It's like exhausting, isn't it? Um. Yes. And if I do, no, I'm not gonna say it. I think I can totally handle it. Once a week. But with you or any material that's relating to music, that I can contribute to your music making journey as well, I will love to do it.、Um, it's just always more fun to have someone else to share this kind of information with. I will never say I have something to teach you guys because I don't believe in that kind of theory. I believe in showing each other material and and yeah, it's more about sharing than than anything. Don't know. Love to share. And I do apologize for the past year that my absence and. Neglecting you, just know that I did not do that on purpose. I was dealing with my own emotions. I am learning. I'm sure you are going through stuff as well, and I love to hear them if you want to share.、Um, yeah, so I will see you guys. Let's say、um, I can do it Monday. Yeah, so. Check your inbo inbox. Wait, do YouTube send out notification on your inbox? I don't know. If you're subscribing, I'm sure you will get a notification.、Um, I will see you next Monday then. Bye.